Oh, hi. Welcome to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Another expedition out to review a campsite. Myself and Charlie are heading off to Brandon Hill Camping in Greg Namana in County Kilkenny. We were there before. I think it was one of the very, very first campsites we ever reviewed back in 2019 or early 2020. And I'm so looking forward to heading down to Greg Namana again. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run the titles. Very little road footage, possibly from, there's a main roundabout in Greg Namana, and then we'll be turning left. And I do want to show you the road up to Brandon Hill, because if you have a big rig, it might not be suitable for you. So no need to skip the road footage. Let's run the credits and let's make a way to Brandon Hill in County Kilkenny. Oh, and by the way, this video was brought to you with thanks to our friends at happytoughconversions.ie. If you are building a van, converting a van into a motorhome or a camper van, if you want to get max fans, solar systems, anything you want for your existing camper van, happytoughconversions.ie are the place to go, but we'll tell you more about them later. Hey, did the light go off when I closed the door in the fridge? So we made it to Greg Namana, down to Brandon Hill Camping Park. Let me tell you a little bit about this place before we go for a walk around. Uh, excuse the noise of the fan, the weather is beautiful so I've got the max fan on. It's not warm enough for the air conditioning but we do have the max fan on. Actually I'll just turn it off for a second. So the story here is we were here when it first opened. Ken opened, I'd say it was 2019. They have two pods, they have uh, two glamping pods, they have a chalet. The toilets and showers are there. There's a new toilet and shower block being built at the moment. The camper's kitchen has everything you need. There is a fire pit down beside the camper's kitchen and the office. You would have seen by the road footage if you're driving a big rig. I mean, I met that little small van coming up, but you'll get in. There are three or four hard stands and all the rest of the pitches are on grass. I will go walk around and show you. Uh, what I like about here, do you know what we'd say to you, if you're thinking of buying a motorhome, we always say try before you buy. Well, he has a tent that he rents out. You just bring your bed linen. He puts out the air bed, he puts out everything like that. All the crockery and cutlery are available in the camper's kitchen. So try before you buy is what we've always said. And you can do that by renting out his tent. Just give him a buzz beforehand. I'll give you the contact details, the website and Ken's phone number at the end of the video. We're going to have some... He's going to have some sausages, I'm going to have some beans on toast. Then we go for a walk, we get the drone up while the weather's fine, and we'll have a chat in a couple of minutes. 
So we've made it up to the top of Brandon Hill. Those clouds look an awful lot darker. Oh well, no, they are dark. <laughs> right. There are 18 pitches and I'm at the highest pitch. Actually, we just step up onto the highest pitch up here, Charlie. Now, all the pitches have power. Most of the pitches have water or they have a tap between the two of them. For example, let me turn this camera. There is a tap on that pole there between pitch 18 and 17. So pitch 18 is the highest pitch. And this is what you're looking out onto. Now, before I say anything, there's another pitch just there. There are two glamping pods just there. Toilets and showers there. Just take a listen. I'm going to get right up here onto pitch 18. How quiet is that? Look, there are campsites all over Ireland where you can go and have a bit of a rule of bulog as a sing song, and if that's what you're into. If you are into peace and quiet, you're a five minute drive to what I'm going to call as the village of Greg Namana. There's St. Mollerins, it's a 20 minute drive out the road, beautiful walks, there's a cafe there. You can walk down by the river, you can park downtown in Greg Namana, walk down by the river, look at the boats, have a coffee, do a bit of shopping. Come back up here, cook yourself some grub, and just listen to this. Let's put on some music. Let's go for a walk and show you the size of these pitches. Two glamping pods and one little cabin and a tent to rent. A bit of poetry there. So we're starting off at pitch. 18, and that is the size of pitch 18. With your power, there's the tap. There's the next pitch with power. Right, let's put on a bit of music and go for a walk. Pitch three, by the way, is just down there. Let's take a look at the view from the pods. The pods are closed and because they're ready to be taken over tonight. So let's just take a look. Step up here onto this. From these pitches there is a walkway down there which brings you down to the toilets, the showers, the fire pit, the office and the camper's kitchen. Remember they take tents as well as motorhomes and camper vans. That caravan is actually a friend of Ken's, they don't take caravans on site normally but there's a friend has just left that here for uh, a couple of days This is the toilet block and shower block that's been built at the moment. There are toilets and showers just at the end of that block, but they're actually being built at the moment. And that's a little clamping chalet. Showers are free, by the way. We're on pitch one. There's another pitch just beside us. Camper's kitchen, office, uh, shower in there, toilets there. There's a chap in washing his delf, his wear. This way, Charlie. <clears throat> I think I said his name was Gary.
that's the office and waste disposal and there's chemical toilet disposal there and fresh water there and that's the entrance let's see if we can get the drone up Let me tell you, before we do a wrap up, which I'm going to do outside, I've got the air conditioning unit and I've got the max fan on. In fact, I'll turn off the max fan while we're doing this. Speaking of max fans, I bought my max fan from happytoughconversions.ie. They're based uh, in Abbeyfield, just outside Limerick. Let me tell you about Bart and Katie's business, Happy Tough Conversions. If you've got a van and you've decided that you're going to build a camper van or a motorhome, they have everything from the front to the back, from the top to the bottom, interior, exterior. They have absolutely everything. In fact, I put a grab of their website here, happytoughconversions.ie. They do monthly or bi-monthly deals, maybe a solar deal or a plumbing deal or a gas deal. They do, I got my Max fan from there. They do skylights. I'm not gonna go through the list. Just take a look at the website, happytoughconversions.ie. They helped me out with the B-Bar when I was doing the Overlander. And now that I'm working on the T3, my T3 Dream, the VW build, I got my electrical connections from them. I got my water connections from them. They do them in black and in white. They do skylights. They do gas fittings, light fittings, cables. The carpet for the T3 I got from the guys. They do the four-way stretch carpet. If you are converting a van to a motorhome, happytoughconversions.ie, one-stop shop. You will get everything you need from the guys. Right, it's a beautiful day here in Brandon Hill camping. We're gonna take ourselves outside, set up a chair, set up another camera, and we're gonna do a wrap up. Brandon Hill Camping Park in Greg Namana, County Kilkenny. It's a five minute drive down into the village center where you've got your super value, your fast food takeaways, your pubs, your shops. There's a beautiful river walk. You can have a coffee down there in one of the coffee shops. Look at the boats, walk down by the river. You can drive out to St. Mollerin's. It's probably a 20 minute drive out the road, maybe half an hour. There's a coffee shop there. There's beautiful cycle paths and walks around there. This campsite is so peaceful. There's a family in a big tent up top. There's a family yet coming in over here. I heard somebody just checking into one of the glamping pods. I will give you all of the details, including Ken's phone number, the website, and the air code or the GPS, wherever I can find at the end of this video. It's beautiful here. I think it's 25 euro a night, including electric hookup for a unit. Now, we drove into our pitch. This is actually our grass area. Normally you'd reverse in and you'd have your door here and you can put up your awning. I just wanted the views, so we drove into the pitch. The pitches are level. Pitch 70, 16, 17, and 18 are up at the very, very top. And the biggest pitches I've seen in a campsite in a long time with electric hookup, with water, dead level, tent, motorhome, campervan, awning, the whole lot will fit onto them. They're very, very, very spacious. The family in the tent is one of them big village tents that I had to say must have like 18 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a sitting room, and maybe a kitchen. 
they've loads of room on the pitch where they pinch up and they've got a car and they've got a van with them and the kids have just been running around the people down here have a little dog he's been running around scoop the poop keep your dog in the lead in saying that well this fella has gone so good now he hasn't gone off the pitch at all so that is it brandon hill camping in greg the manor in county kilkenny from me aaron from charlie brown thank you for joining us remember you don't have to but if you want to subscribe and click on that bell don't forget the camping crew podcasts on wednesdays wherever you listen to your podcast just search search for the camping crew podcast and remember at this point of recording this in may 2023 we're still doing the van build my t3 dream those videos are on wednesdays from me aaron from this kid take care bye bye